coming you today. Uh, it's a it's a very it's a very uh, tumultuous day right now in the country, and so let's um, let's take comfort in each other and uh, make a joyful sound, and perhaps a meet. We're going to make a meaningful um, um, resistance sound too uh, on a song. Uh, the harder they come. Today we have the incredible John Langford joining us. Um, it's very exciting. Uh, one of the uh, historic uh, bands in all of rock and roll, the Mekons, and um, a founder and uh, member ever since its founding, extraordinary thing. And of course, he's, a, uh, he's polymathic in the extreme. Uh, his art is, uh, uh, is beautiful and is connected to his uh, deep understanding of music and, um, and indeed his expertise in different kinds of music making. And so it's a real, uh, uh, it's a real joy. Uh, to have him uh, joining us today and leading us in two very different songs. One, a song that will uh, speak to us all right now with what's going on in the country. And I'm, uh, it's uh, not a time to ignore that, but to, to connect deeper to how we feel about these things uh, by singing songs about it. So I am looking for uh, John right now, and I'm sure he's finding his way to me. And until he does, uh, I will continue ex to extol his uh, virtues. And, uh, uh, and, uh, and know that you shall do so by joining with him in song and sound. Uh, there's nothing quite like that. That's what you get to do with this, this uh, thing that we do, the, um, the guitar mash virtual campfire. So there's John, he's joined. And so, ah, that's a good looking picture of you there, fella. You got your glasses on too, just like me. And there he is, all right, let's see if we can, see if we can get him in there. All right, and. Four, three, two, one. You there, John? Hey, hey. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hello, John. It's good to see your face. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Lovely. thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today. No, it's great. I've always wanted to do this. I thought I was going to do it in the flesh, but, uh, you know. Well, uh, the flesh will remain after all this is over, and perhaps we shall make it so. So I decided to wear clothes anyway today, rather than the flesh. <laughs> we won't make you stand up. Oh, I'm, yes, I am only wearing the skimpiest of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, you're doing two songs today. One, of course, is um, uh, it, it is, uh, is a is a, a song of the, well, they're both songs of the heart. And uh, I look forward to hearing about them both. And of course you leading us in them. But first let me uh, tell everybody where you're coming from today. Where, where are you? Today I'm in Chicago and I've lived in Chicago. I'm obviously not from Chicago, as you can tell mm -hmm. by my accent. I'm from yeah. Wales, but I've lived in Chicago for, I think 28 years now. So mm -hmm. I got married to uh, a woman from Chicago called Helen. We're mm -hmm. still married. We live in this house with, you know, locked down with two very large sons. So it's. Uh, How's everybody doing? Uh, not bad. Very productive. You know, it looks. Right bit, on. Our backyard looks pretty kind of hillbilly at the moment. It's great. It's full of like metal sculptures and piles of wood and fires and things like that. So, you know. Yeah. All right. We, we've definitely I've been home more than I've been home. I think ever in the last 28 years. Yeah, a lot of us can say that who are who are traveling musicians. That's certainly the case. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not hey, there's, hey. There's things about it that I I like as well. So it's yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. I don't I don't miss O'Hare Airport at all. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> hey, what what would you like to start with today? Well, I think uh, I'd like to do the harder they come because it was the when I formed the Waco Brothers when I moved to Chicago we we had this kind of idea that we were going to be a, a hard country band a kind of a punk rock band that kind of harkened back to the classic honky tonk stuff, uh, like Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash and Hank Williams and that sort of really hard cutting edge country music that I, I loved so much. And we wanted to play that stuff, but for some reason, the first song we decided to record and our first single was Jimmy Cliff's The Harder They Come. Because uh, I figured reggae, punk rock and country and Western music have a lot in common in the sense that they t kind of tackle the real world head on. I mean, they're all just branches of folk music, really. And uh, yeah. I liked songs yeah. that were about the world and about the situations we live in. And uh, this week, I think this one's a, a kind of perfect one to, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's a song that continues to ring true. And 
uh, that's its greatness and also our, our tragedy in, in the human condition, constantly repeating the same mistakes. Yeah, exactly. And uh, also when, you know, when we started, like, first time I started playing in a bands, it was, they were punk bands. And at the time in the late seventies, uh, so about 76, 77, none of the, uh, none of the punk bands had any records out. So when he went to a punk gig in England, what they did was play reggae music between, between the, you know, between the, the, the bands. So there was a lot of, we listened to a lot of reggae music and people definitely identify with a lot of the reggae music was coming out of Britain at the time because it was made by kind of black youth who were very disaffected and very put upon by the government. And the, uh, the white youth sort of some to form the sort of solidarity with them. If you listen to bands like The Clash, there's a lot of reggae in, in that music. And I think it was a question of the politics and the attitude because we really mm -hmm. saw them as kind of reggae kind of musicians as kind of examples of, you know, the rebel life. So, uh, yeah. This song yeah. was obviously one of the ones where you mentioned when we talked earlier that you played Many Rivers to Cross with Jimmy Cliff once. That is wow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's very good. That, that, that certainly was that. a peak. It was a peak experience without yeah. question. But yeah. we, we would, you know, we would play at the Russell Club in Manchester with bands like, you know, The Fall and uh, the Human League and the Gang of Four in this kind of scruffy club on a council estate in Manchester. Really tough, tough neighborhood and a hard place. And then that I remember walking through the club in between bands one night and that song coming on, Many Rivers to Cross. And it's just such a kind of fantastic song. And of course, oh. that's what broke reggae really in Britain in the mainstream yeah. was that film, The Harder They Come. Yeah, you know, even yeah though it did needed, in a lot of places, yeah. Even though yeah. people needed subtitles to understand what they were talking about. It was... Uh, it was great. And then just, I will just say in, in closing, before I perform this song, we, I, I actually got to do it on a boat in the Caribbean with the Waco brothers this January, just before the lockdown came down. We were on the Outlaw Country Cruise and Lee Perry was a special guest. So we did two oh Perry songs. We said, you want to stay up? We're going to do The Hard Way Come. And he went, yeah. And he stayed up with us and he performed this kind of bizarre rockabilly version of The Harder They Come. And we actually did it with Lee Perry. So it felt like a, a complete circle for me and possibly the greatest night of my life, so. Wonderful, wonderful. Should well, uh, we're, we're so glad that you're leading us. And- uh, uh, Okay, well, any, you know what, uh, I'll tell any... you what, I'm not a leader, I'm not a leader. Oh no, you'll lead, you'll, you'll lead just by virtue of the fact that you're singing because we will all follow you. You Good. have no choice. Sing along, I, I can hear you all. Sing along, please. All right, the, the way the Waco brothers play it is like this. Than to live 
as a puppet or a slave. So as long as the sun will shine, gonna get my share now. What's mine? And the harder they come, the harder they fall. What at all? That was fun. I don't normally get that excited at home. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you're and conne you're connected to folks, and this is a song that's very important to sing right now. It's very absolutely important today. You know what? We also I, 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 you, we had a conversation earlier today planning this, and you said yeah. something about James Baldwin. Yeah. And after I put a phone down with you, my wife came up to me and said, handed me a giant cardboard placard and a big fat felt pen, and said, write something on this. Mm -hmm. So I wrote. Uh, I can't remember what I wrote. I said, like, we cannot believe you. We cannot believe you. No, we can't, be we can't believe what you say because we see what you do. And that was a quote from James Baldwin. So I wrote that on a placard. She's gone downtown now with my son. Yeah. And there's a massive demonstration today about what's going on yeah. in this country. Uh, well, I, I, I hope everyone stays safe there. That was what I was telling them when they walked out the door. Yeah. yeah. We, the, we have to, uh, right now, safety is paramount in every uh, mode of public existence, um, uh, in, in all ways. And uh, we just have to be the best neighbors we can be, and also speaking our minds against uh, the injustice that is so obvious. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but in Illinois, it's been, you know, people have been amazing, actually. People have really kind of like buckled down. They've observed the lockdown, and it's been... Yeah. It's been yeah. great, but people are also shocked and horrified at what's happening across the country. And of, and of the course, mes the messages yeah. we are receiving from the top of the yeah the top of the poll. I mean, I can't believe yeah. what I read this morning. I've never I've yeah. never seen anything like it. I was yeah. so upset. My son was really upset, and he read me what the president wrote last night about uh, what was going on at the White House. And I've yeah. I've never seen anything like that in my life. It's no, what's it's, happened it's, to this what's happened to this country is a it's just impossible yeah. to believe. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> so let's uh, no, no, to, no. Let's get back it, to it, my country. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> which is doing swimmingly. <laughs> no, it's terrible over there. I know, I know. It was, it <laughs> We've was got facetious. Boris. Boris is just That's, useless. Yeah. But actually, actually there so, is a, a I, much. I'd like to. I'd like to. I want to. Um, years ago, I toured uh, with a band leader who shall remain. Remain nameless. Many years ago, none of you knew him. I was in the Midwest, uh, but um, uh, he, he was a conversational black hole, and we all agreed that whoever brought up his name would have to buy supper, and that's the <laughs> only way we could shut it down. <laughs> and so, and that I, I say we can do the same with uh, our, the current conversational black hole, who who is, yeah. who is, yeah. But at the same time, right now we have to we have to discuss what he says, and uh, so we can uh, so we can resist. Well, yeah. today it felt like a declaration of war on the public and the press, you know? Yeah. They're, yeah. they're firing, they're, fi they're fi shooting. Yesterday they were shooting in Louisville at people, a cameraman yeah. from a TV station. They, yeah. The police yeah, yeah, yeah. fired at them. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's unthinkable. And uh, I hope people wake up soon because this is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, let's, uh, we're going to sing one more song and it seems What's ironic. The time? I, come, I come from Wales, you see, and then... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about, it's nice because I could talk here about today about reggae and about country, which are two of my favorite musical things. And I kind of knew I liked reggae music as soon as I yep. heard it in the 70s. Often one thing, because I had Paul Simon's first solo album, and he went to Jamaica and recorded uh, Mother and Child Reunion, which was mm -hmm. kind of really instrumental in like turning a lot of people onto reggae music. Because that's a fantastic song. And it was very early on in the day. And then punk was much later when... 
we all kind of like got really deeply into it. But uh, country music was something I didn't know or think I liked at all. And in fact, I thought it was kind of really boring, conservative old people's music that was on TV late at night on some Irish TV channels that drifted into Wales where I lived. But my favorite songs of my family, you know, Christmas, we all sang Tom Jones songs because Tom Jones was like the king of Wales. He was the most famous person in Wales and he was, he was the boss, you know. So I loved songs like Delilah, The Green Green Grass at Home. I didn't realize that these songs were actually American country songs. I thought The Green Green Grass at Home was like a Welsh folk song when I was a kid. And it seemed to me a, to be about the village that my grandparents lived in. And I could picture it in my head when he talks about going back to the lanes, walking down and the old oak tree and the old house is still standing. To me, that was a, a terraced house up the valleys in Wales, you know. But yeah. later on, I suddenly realized, oh, actually, Tom was singing country all along. And I like country music because country right. music tells great stories. And this song, this song's a green, green grass at home. You know, it's a fantastic song. It's a fantastic it story. Yeah. I used to play it live and I would say to people, will you please stand up for the Welsh National Anthem? And then people would stand up. <laughs> I would do, I'd either do that or Delilah. Can I do my Tom Jones joke now? Oh, sure. I yeah, promised yeah. you, I've got two Tom Jones jokes. One's yeah. filthy, and I told you that earlier, and we're not going to do that one. Okay. I'd like, to, I'd like to do the other one. The original yes, one I heard was, I, I went to the doctors this morning, mm -hmm. and the doctor said, I, no, I, hang on, wrong way around. I said to the doctor, I can't stop singing Delilah and Green Green Grass at Home. And the doctor said, well, you have a very bad case of Tom Jones-itis. And I said, is that common? He said, well, it's not unusual. <laughs> pull, yes. pull, 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 pull. Yeah. Oh, beat on one of them big drums in your barn going bang, bang. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's try the Green Green Grass at home. Let let's you do it. it. I've been singing this song since I was about nine years old, so. We'll, we'll sing it one more time for us. One more time. Hang on, we'll go after <laughs> The interesting thing is we're doing the Tom Jones version and my version is mutated so much that I'm going to have to follow your charts to just do it right. Oh, but... go, go ahead. We'll follow you. Yeah. It's fine. Right. Phone right. I just I had it on do not disturb and I switched it off. Sorry. Hello. Hey. I'm so sorry. I did. I disappeared. No worries. The old hometown looks the same. As I step down from the train, there to meet me is my mama and my papa. Down the road I look, and there's Mary, hair of gold and lips like cherries. It's good. To touch the green, green grass of home. Yes, they'll all come to meet me, arms out reaching, smiling sweetly. It's good to touch the green, green grass of home. Well, the old house is still standing, though the paint is cracked and dry. There's that old oak tree that I used to play on. And down the lane, Gold and lips like cherries. It's good to touch the green, green grass of home. 
Now here comes the dramatic monologue, everybody. Then I awake and look around me. A four gray walls that surround me. And I realize, yes, I was only dreaming. But there's a God and there's a sad old Padre. We'll walk at daybreak again. I'll touch the green, green grass of home. And they'll all come to see me, see me in the shade of that old oak tree as they lay me neath the green, green grass of home. And of course, we didn't even have the death penalty in Wales. So why did I think it was about Wales? I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, yeah. Well, it could have been about ancient Wales and the gallows and the, you know, all that. It could have been about ancient Wales. But That's for me, right. it was That's very right. contemporary Wales. A very old song. It was very the village old. of my grandparents. That's right. That's right. John, well met. <laughs> okay. Sorry, my, my wife called a couple of times during that. No worries. All, all, is, all is well. We're, we're all dealing with, with these kinds of things. And uh, yeah. this, is, this, <laughs> was this is not a problem. It was a joy <laughs> to have you. <laughs> well, John, lovely, I hope we, I hope we can with do you, this in person sometime. No, I, I, I would love to do that. I think that would be fantastic. And thanks to everyone, yeah. everyone who joined in and sang along. And I hope, I hope, we'll hope people hit those harmonies you put in the video. <laughs> I was trying right. to do but it's, it's too hard to do three-part harmonies on your own. Yeah, yeah. Some would say impossible, <laughs> although there was one going in my head. So uh, not even a schizophrenic can pull it off. That, no, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd take multiple personality disorder. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hey. All right. So uh, I, I wish you the best and stay safe and uh, stay yeah, close. Thanks. This is a wonderful. Right. This is a wonderful thing, and I really would like to do it. I imagine it's incredible fun to do it live in a big theater with loads of people playing. And, yeah, we we or call even the, that that which was formerly known as the audience is is now called the big band. So all right, that's uh, right. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. All right, my friend. Well, so I want to tell everybody: don't uh, don't stop playing these songs. Play them before you go to bed tonight, and play them tomorrow. John showed us a way in. Take that lead, and just keep on playing these songs in your household. And uh, that's what it's that's what it's about. Homemade music, right there. I know it's great. It's uh, it's been been lovely to be still be able to play and not be able to go to the gigs, but to be able to just sit and do things like this. It feels like a real connection. Thank you. That's right. Okay, everybody, go play music. See you later, John. Bye. <laughs>